Florida's contribution to sports is priceless and unforgettable. The state has been consistently providing the world with great talent. In past, the Sunshine State provided the world with Deion Sanders, Dwayne Wade and Rowdy Gaines. And for future, the state has given us Aaron Jackson. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit. And today we'll be talking about the journey of Aaron Jackson. But first things first, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do consider doing it. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. Aaron Jackson is an American speed skater, inline skater and roller derby player. She qualified for the World Games 2017 in Rokla, Poland. There she competed in inline speed skating in various distances on road and track. She also qualified to compete in the 500 meters long track speed skating event at the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. But where should we begin? Should we start with Jackson being such a good inline skater that she was a four-time world medalist and named the US Olympic Committee's Female Roller Athlete of the Year thrice? Or her making the 2018 US Olympic team in long track speed skating about five minutes after she shifted from wheels to blades? Or her being the first black woman to make a US Olympic team in long track? or her doing that despite coming to the 2018 Olympic trials without having met the qualifying time for the ensuing Pyeongchang Winter Games. Or her getting so many college degrees in so many subjects that Jackson jokingly thinks she should include school when asked to list her hobbies. Or Jackson calling her skating embarrassing after getting her first World Cup victory over three weeks ago in Poland or winning that season opening World Cup 500 meter race after missing the entire 2020-21 international season. Or with a victory in the 500 meters, becoming the first black woman to win an individual event in the 36 year history of the World Cup. Or her going to win the next two World Cup 500s. And then winning the Friday race with the new personal best that also broke the US record. Or doing all this when her coach says the 29-year-old is still in the infancy of her ice skating career. Whoa. But let's take you to the beginnings first. Erin Jackson was born in Ocala, Florida to Tracy and Rita Jackson. Jackson first skated at 8 years old when she tried figure skating. Jackson attended Shores Christian Academy, Howard Middle School and Forest High School. She then went on to the University of Florida, where she graduated with honors from the Material Science and Engineering program. Jackson first got on ice skates at 24, during a brief September 2016 outing with Dutch inline team members at a rink in the Netherlands. Like many champion inliners, Jackson would be drawn to try ice skating by the lure of the sport's Olympic presence. When she took the next step by joining the US speed skating program designed to transition successful inliners into ice skaters, Jackson said she turned down two job offers. Jackson went to Salt Lake City in February 2017 and spent a couple months training to ice skate. She returned to inline and roller derby that summer and then went back to Utah for a four month block of training leading to the 2018 US trials. Nearly all speed skaters use cycling as cross training. Jackson never had been on a road bike until going to Utah. And the unfamiliarity led to what she said were multiple crashes, though none serious. Thank God. She also never had done weightlifting before. Her coach, Ryan Shimabukuru, said the goal for Jackson's first season was about gaining experience from competing in the US trials and getting a program underway for the 2022 Olympics. So she unexpectedly made the 2018 Olympics by finishing third in the 500, recording personal bests in both races. She finished 24th to 31 in the 500 in South Korea, more than two seconds behind winner Nao Kodaira of Japan. 
by the 2020 World Single Distance Championships. She was seventh in the 500, less than 0.6 seconds behind winner Kodaira. When her competitive days end, Jackson hopes to combine all her academic interests into a career as a biomechanist, perhaps in research and development. As a materials engineering student, she worked on designing ceramics for dental uses. Jackson plans to continue ice skating at least until the 2026 Olympics, although she may return to both inline and roller derby at times in the upcoming years. She has done neither in a couple years, partly because competition in both sports has been shut down for some or all of that time by the COVID-19 pandemic. Shima Bukuru closely monitors her racing load because Jackson herniated three discs in her lower back in 2019. That is why she only skates the 1000 meter occasionally for now. Her entire focus for Beijing is on the 500. Interestingly, she didn't book her place at the Olympics directly. She is going after a teammate gave up a spot for her. Jackson is going after fellow American speed skater Brittany Bao decided to forego her place after she won first in a qualifying race at the US Olympic Trials in Milwaukee. Jackson finished third, one spot short of qualification after she slipped during the event. Bao, who qualified for 1,000 meter and 1,500 meter races, will still go to the Olympics. She currently holds the world record in 1,000 meters and is a former world champion in speed skating. But Jackson is considered as the best in the world. We hope to see her win that gold medal and engrave her name in the history books. But for now, it's time for us to call it a day. But we show sure hope that you like this video and find it informative. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon while you're at it. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.